the dirty dozen. IRS urges tax pros and other businesses to beware of spear phishing, offers tips to avoid dangerous common scams. The dirty dozen. Honestly, the, the name sounds like a bunch of rebellious donut flavors. It's like, yeah, give me, give me one of those dirty dozen donuts with the pickled relish flavor glaze packaged in the wax paper that's shaped like, like a leather jacket. You know, it's like, leave it to the IRS to turn a sweet thing sour. Or the, the dirty dozen. Possibly the IRS is moonlighting as like, a, as like a gritty crime novelist with a name like that, you know? Or maybe the, the dirty dozen actually sounds like, a, it sounds like a Marvel superhero movie. However, considering Marvel is now the MCU, maybe it should be called the Dirty Dozen Danes. You know? They could be the, the Triple D tribe. And they're all that's holding up the entire Disney universe these days. Some have questioned how the Triple D tribe are able to fight bad guys while carrying all that weight. However, it appears they have discovered the bad guys are actually spear fishers. So the Triple D tribe have honed in their strategy, focusing on disabling the spear. But seriously, seriously, sp spear fishing is actually a kind of bait and switch where scammers pretend to be the IRS to hook your personal information. Talk about a fishy situation. The IRS warning of people about taking personal information and money, someone, you know, spear fishers. I mean, the, the irony here is thicker than the tax code. I mean, it's like the IRS is saying, hey, we're the only ones allowed to make your life miserable during tax season. But whatever. Anyways. IR 2023-62, March 29, 2023, Washington. The Internal Revenue Service today warned tax professionals and businesses that they remain a top target for identity thieves and face threats from common scams on this year's Dirty Dozen list. There's a link to that list here, by the way. As part of the annual Dirty Dozen tax scam effort, the IRS and the Security Summit partners, just like the Justice League, the security partners, just like the the X Men or the X whatever the X Thems, just like the X Thems, they're saving the world. So their partners urge tax professionals and businesses to be on the lookout for a variety of suspicious email requests. Through these spear phishing emails, scammers try to steal client data, tax software preparation credentials, and tax preparer identities with the goal of getting fraudulent tax refunds. So obviously, if they can steal the identity, one of the things they might try to do that with that is file fraudulent returns, which may have become and most likely have become more profitable in the last few years, given the fact that the IRS has been shooting money out everywhere and they have increased things like the refundable tax credits and all that kind of stuff. However, they're kind of starting to, to reel that stuff back now that they're getting hit with the inflation, which was, the, of course, the inevitable result. But... This, this, you would still think that you have a heightened level of possible scams that are going out there uh, due to the changes in the past and just the inconsistency with the tax code. So people don't really know what's going on at this point in time. They also note that with these spear phishing attacks, you might think, hey, these are unsophisticated attacks. I can see a spear phishing email a mile away. And usually you can because they're targeted at a wide net usually and there actually could be possibly some say purposely not as sophisticated so that the people that actually follow through with the spear phishing click on the link or call the number or whatever they're going to do to give the personal information are more likely to then actually follow through once they go to the fraudulent website or something like that or call the fraudulent phone stir or whatever uh, is the next step in the process to pick up uh, the personal information. However, they could come up with much more targeted, sophisticated phishing attacks as they might do to tax professionals because in that case, they're, they're not casting a wide net. They're trying to target the phishing to a certain individual that might get more bang for the buck if they can steal a bunch of identity from a personal individual, which obviously puts the poor tax professionals into a into a more heightened uh, risk situation so just the fact that some of these frauds are not sophisticated doesn't mean that 
a sophisticated person can't fall for a phishing scam because they can be sophisticated. Right? So, so these requests can range from email that looks like it's from a potential new client or requests targeting payroll and human resource departments asking for sensitive form W-2 information. Quote, it's vitally important for tax professionals and businesses to maintain a strong defense against cyber attacks like spear phishing, end quote, said IRS Commissioner Danny Warfell. Quote, the information uh, these businesses have on their system is extremely valuable to an identity thief looking to steal identities and file fraudulent returns. And it's even more so because they keep on changing the laws and the tax code and people are confused. So we're in an environment where the scammers thrive. So we have to be more careful. There are simple steps that tax pros and businesses can take to avoid being fooled by these common schemes, including extra caution when opening emails, clicking on links or sharing sensitive client data. Extra care can go a long way to protect tax professionals and businesses as well as their clients, end quote. So working together as the security summit, the, just like the, the X-Men, I mean the the X they the the X thems just like the X thems teams the IRS state tax agencies and the nation's tax industry have taken numerous steps since 2015 to strengthen internal system and controls to protect against tax related identity theft as part of this effort the IRS and summit partners continue to warn people about common scams and schemes during tax season and beyond that can threaten a taxpayer's personal and financial information the Security Summit Initiative, there's a link to that here, is committed to protecting taxpayers, businesses, and the tax system from scammers and identity thieves, and the Dirty Dozen is part of that large effort. The IRS's annual Dirty Dozen campaign is a list of 12 scams and schemes that put together, put taxpayers and tax professional community at risk of losing money, personal information, data, and more. Some items on the Dirty Dozen are new and some make a return visit. While the Dirty Dozen is not a legal document or a formal listing of agency enforcement priorities, it is intended to alert taxpayers and the tax professional community about various scams and schemes. Sidestep spear phishing, cybersecurity tips for tax pros and businesses. Phishing is a term given to emails or text messages uh, designed to get users to provide personal information either directly or by clicking on a link or attachment. So obviously, again, some of these spear phishing type of uh, emails at this point in time, you could say they, they don't look as sophisticated, but they can be more complex. And the, the urges that they play upon are the typical things that scammers do. They try to give you something and and ask you to reciprocate in a in a manipulative type of situation so they play on that need for human beings to reciprocate uh and they also play on the fear factor of course that's why they're going to be impersonating the irs and they also are typically going to have a time frame threat that's involved either if you don't act they're going to hit you with something by blackmailing you or by by giving or by the irs coming to get you or something like that or you're going to be losing out if you don't act now to get this special deal that the irs is doing uh to get your the next paycheck that the irs is sending out or whatever they're calling it these days so if you see those elements in play then then obviously you want to take a step back not just for these type of scams but but any kind of of scammer and uh, manipulator so spear phishing is a tailored phishing attempt to a specific organization or business. The IRS is warning tax professionals about spear phishing because there is a greater potential for harm if the tax preparer has a data breach. A successful spear phishing attack can ultimately steal client data and tax preparer's identity, allowing the thief to file fraudulent returns. Why do they attack the tax preparers, the salt of the earth, the tax preparers? It's just horrible, it's horrible. A taxpayer becoming a victim of tax-related identity theft is certainly an issue with spear phishing, but criminals seeking tax preparer credentials or access to their clients' tax-related information increases the potential number of victims. Those horrible people attacking taxpayers. Taxpayers just helping people every day, doing, doing, doing God's work. Anyway, 
Spear phishing begins with a suspicious email, one that may appear as a tax preparation application or another e-service or platform. Some scammers will even use IRS logo and claim something like, quote, action required. So there's that threat of, of you know, this needs to happen now kind of thing. Your account has now been put on hold. Uh, often these emails stress urgency and will ask for pros, uh, businesses to click on links to input or verify information. So how side by side spear phishing, how to sidestep spear phishing. So the, the spear's coming at you, it's gonna hit you right in the gut and you've gotta move, you gotta side, you gotta sidestep that thing. So it goes into the, the guy behind you or, or, the, or the wall maybe, hopefully it doesn't hit anyone, I don't know. Never click suspicious links. Double check your requests when the original sender. Be vigilant year round, not just during filing season. Okay, so good advice. Be careful. Be careful. Client impersonation, spear phishing aimed at tax pros. The IRS and its security summit partners continue to see spear phishing attempts that impersonate a new potential client. Clearly, that would be a more targeted effort, and people want to pick up new clients. So if they have a, a targeted client campaign spear phishing to an individual, they can be quite more canny than, than the normal spear phishing can of worms that you, that you often see with the shotgun approach of the spear phishing. So it's known as the new client scam. There's a link to that here. If the, ta if the tax preparer responds, the scammer sends a malicious attachment or URL that ultimately enables them to gain access to sensitive client information on the tax preparer's computer. It sounds horrifying. It's horrifying. These people need to be stopped. Not just, to, I don't want to see just advice from the Security Summit new X-Men, X-Them League. The X-Them League needs to take action and get these guys. Anyways, bogus requests for W-2, spear phishing aimed at businesses. The IRS wants to warn businesses about another specific spear phishing scam that targets employees and payroll and accounting departments. These employees might get an email that looks like it comes from an office source requesting W-2s for all employees. The payroll department might accidentally reply with these important documents. That's not good which would provide scammers with W-2 data and employees that can be used to commit fraud. The IRS recommends using a two-person review process when receiving these types of requests for W-2s. The IRS also recommends any requests for payroll be submitted through an official process like Employers Human Resources Portal. So make a difference. Report fraud scams and schemes. So the, so the security summit over there acting like the ex thems could you know probably not do much they probably won't do much but you know you at least you're doing your part you're do you got to give them the information so they can stockpile it together because crunching numbers crunching numbers that's how they do it all right so individuals should never respond to tax related phishing and spear phishing or click the irs link instead scammers should be reported by sending the email or a copy of the text sms as an attachment to their phishing at irs.gov. The report should include the caller ID, email or phone number, date, time and time zone, and the number that received the message. Taxpayers can also report scams to the Treasury Inspector General for Tax Administration, there's a link to that here, or the Internal Crime Complaint Center, there's a link to that here. The report phishing and online scams page, there's a link to that at irs.gov provides complete details. The Federal Communications Commission's smartphone security checker, there's a link to that here, is a useful tool against mobile security threats. Uh, as part of the Dirty Dozen awareness effort, the IRS encourages people to report individuals who promote improper and abusive schemes as well as tax return preparers who deliberately prepare improper returns. To report an abusive tax scheme or a tax return preparer, people should mail or fax a completed form 14242, report suspected abusive uh, tax promotions or preparers, there's a link to that here, and any supporting materials to the IRS Lead Development Center and the Office of Promoter Investigations. Mail, there's a mailing address. Alternatively, taxpayers and tax practitioners may send the information to the IRS whistleblower office for a possible reward. That's right. You can be a headhunter and a bounty hunter 
and collect your bounty. I don't know what the bounty is. You could you can ask him if you want more detail. For more information, see abusive tax schemes and abusive tax return preparers. There's a link to all this stuff here. There'll be a link to this in the description.